वेलकम वंस अगेन इन और नीट बायोलॉजी क्लास और द एस्पेरेंट्स ऑफ नीट बायोलॉजी 2020 और 2021 फर्स्ट आल्सो दिस आर द बेसिक दिस आर द बेसिक क्लासेस और बेसिक सेलेबस प्रेजेंट इन ऑल द कंपटीटिव एग्जाम्स लाइक एसएलएसटी वेस्ट बंगाल सेंट्रल स्कूल सर्विस कमीशन College Service Commission as well as in WBCS. So, all the examinees require to take notes properly, and is a large part of animal classification. is a large chapter of biological science or life science. So, if we take note properly in a segmented manner, so that we can clearly answer or easily answer the toughest question so let's start the phylum mollusca today mollusca is a second largest invertebrates as i know as i mentioned that the largest invertebrates were arthropods now the mollusk means mollies the term derived from mollusk is means soft body mollusca the phylum mollusca the members of the phylum contains the soft body the mass visceral mass is a soft body mass and the term derived from mollusk and the science of the study or study of mollusk is called malacology and the cell The study of their cells. That mollusk contain outer calcium carbonate containing cells. That calcium carbonate is released by mantle, a soft membranous structure. Uh, we will discuss later. And this membranous structure release calcium carbonate. This calcium carbonate containing cell. The study of this cell is called conchology. So this is the most important. and what are actually the traits all possible habitats are there that is they are fresh water marine water aquatic and land forms but no aerial members are there so and no aerial members as well as their body is unsegmented the visceral mass is unsegmented and their muscle is striated unstriated sorry unstriated muscles so here the body is unsegmented but only exception is there neopelina neopelina is a genus which has segmented body and it is also very important it is actually a missing link between annelida and arthropod sorry annelida and mollusca so it is unsegmented as well as a connecting link it's serving as a connecting link between these two so neopelina is important here another important trait of this phylum members of this phylum is the torsion of their body mass that their body contain their body organs is twisted the organs twisted torsion is known as torsion this is a maternal inheritance trait hmm. so torsion is very important as well as not only torsion but their body is their clear organ development occurred here clear organ development that is head contain it contain heads it contain visceral mass body as well as foot region head contains the ultra sensitive organ like eye like structure eyes statocyst as well as special organ hallmark structure is Osphradium, osphradium is very important trait and a hallmark trait like that of mantle of this phylum. Osphradium contains special receptor cells which are actually chemoreceptors. By means of osphradium, mollusk, the members of this phylum, actually sense the what are actually the original chemical nature of the water body and whether food is dissolved in the water body or not. So, what are the minerals are present? So, osphradium is very important as well as statocyst. 
statusis as i mentioned it is already uh, mentioned in previous uh, phylum that statusis is actually a also hmm, is due to osmoregulation it is required to osmoregulate however and visceral mask covering all the organs food region is very important its food is muscular not only muscular it is also a glandular so muscle and glands are very important for digging as well as crawling and for movement from one place to another so legs has important part food is actually muscular food and the another hormone trait is mental or pallium mental is actually a soft tissue covering and that tissue is developed from the dorsal body wall it is a outgrowth of a dorsal body wall it covers internal organs its function is not only to cover the internal organs but also it releases calcium carbonate so that calcium carbonate forms the outer cell sometimes in your so this mental pallium is very important for releasing calcium carbonate cell calcareous cells is formed by the mantle or pallium pallium cavity is also present space between the mantle and the body between the mantle and body a cavity is present is called pallium cavity and visceral mass contain a stomach region so this stomach type or pancreas region is called a hepatopancreas a large digestive gland hepatopancreas is another digest another important trait of this phylum so these are the various important and unique traits like mental osphradium calcium carbonate cell huh? here is hepato hepatopancreas so it is very important now another hormone trait is tinidia or tinidium tinidia is actually respiratory organ in a gill like structure it's present and responsible for respiration although its respiration not only occurs through tinidium but also occurs through different another organs like outer covering like mantle hmm? this these are the different respiratory organ lung is also present as a respiratory organ in some tinidia lung mantle body surface these are all different respiratory organs so respiration not only occurs through tinidia now the body is diploblastic that is body is covered with body is developed from three layer ectoderm endoderm mesoderm not only this its outer epidermis is single layered and single layer epidermis contain unstriated muscles and unstriated muscles so this is very important another important thing is that its very reduced xylem is present present only in pericardium layer as well as kidney and in gonads so xylem is reduced here shell may be external or internal or absent external cell we know pila globosa contain external cell hmm? external cell the cell is uh, released by the mantle so external may be or may be internal internal in case of cuttlefish cuttlefish has a internal cell hmm? that is sepia sepia is also known as cuttlefish and absent in case of octopus octopus has no cell so octopus is called devilfish hmm? so in case of devilfish no cell is present octopus is an important weapon for killing its killing the or for uh, hunting what is actually the ink gland this is very important ink gland is used by the octopus during the hunting what happened actually it releases the ink gland so that the water becomes turbid and in turbid water the uh, it is easy to hunt so it is very important another important term is radula they have a buccal cavity and inside the buccal cavity the rasping organ is contain this rasping organ is called radula radula has important trait it has a teeth like structure and transverse teeth like structure is a rasping organ and helps to take food hmm? solid food sometimes so radula is very important is present inside the buccal cavity and it's a rasping organ with transverse teeth hmm? respiration so these are the different and so the buccal cavity contain the radula it's contain tinidia not only tinidia its respiratory organs are different outer surface 
sometimes body surface, mental or long leg structures. Now, its circulatory system is open. It can have an open circulatory system and except in cephalopods. Cephalopods that is octopus contain the closed circulatory system exhibit closed circulation. Blood circulation is closed although true blood is not present it contain hemocyanin. Hemocyanin is the copper containing and blue blood. So it's very important. Now pulsatile heart is present in the dorsal region. In the dorsal surface the pulsatile heart is present and and its larvae are the villager larva. The larval stage is called villager larva. It is most important. Another important term, villager larva is only present in this phylum mollusca. So these are. So up to this, we have faced so many terms like a member genus contain neopelina. That neopelina, neopelina is a connecting link. Not only this, it contain mental. It contain hepatopancreas as a spatial structure. It contains tinidia, it contains ospredium, it contains radula, it contains valigial in larvae stage. So, open circulatory system, so many things huh, we have encountered. You have to take spatially the correct note so that you can answer it properly. Now, another important organ is the organ of bojanus. Bojanus organ as well as Krebel's organ. These are excretory like kidney like structure. Bojanus organ is a metanephridia. Organ of Bojana is kind of metanephridia present in paired condition and it works like a kidney. So it is important. They all are ammonotelic. Ammonia is a very harmful and very toxic. So they release ammonia in, in water. Excretory glands are the Kebers glands, Kebers organs as well as organs of Bojanus. And nerve system has actually three pairs of ganglia and they have two terms, a commissure and connective. Commissure and the when the same types of knobs are jun joined, that junction is called as commissure. Commission is a ganglia. Hmm? Actually, ganglia's function is to as a relay center in nerves. So when they are joined together, they one one nerve starts, another nerve leaves. Hmm? Leaves the junction is called actually nerve ganglia. So commissure is a when, which joins. The similar knobs is called commissure and connectives which the which joins the ganglia which joins the dissimilar knobs called connectives. So they have both commissure and connectives. Now ospredium, I have mentioned that ospredium is a chemical chemoreceptor and very helpful for sensing the outer environment. So chemical and physical nature of the water can be detected by the ospredia. Now here are some examples. Cuttlefish are called sepia, devilfish octopus, sea squid and loligo, snails are pyloglobosa and I have another some examples like here the hmm, rajar calm is, is called solen, hmm, rajar calm, its function it is actually a specialist in digging in uh, sea, coastal region of the seas, it is called rajar calm, sea mussels are mytilus, mytilus are sea mussels, sea worm Torredo. Sip worm why? They can able to create a pore in a wooden shapes, wooden wooden platform seeds hmm, which are present inside the water. So this is a torredo, sip wood pourer, cellulose digestion, special power is there. That is a sip worm, torredo, they have able to, uh, sorry, they able to digest the cellulose. See here, Ecclesia. Cephalic and rhinophore, two kinds of uh, external outgrowth present in a head. Huh? Parapodia like the structure is present in the here. Sea lemon is doris. Hmm? No tinidium is present and as well as cell. Sea lemon has no tinidium and cell. The uh, example is doris. Sea butterfly is spirotella. Sea cuttlefish, sepia. As I mentioned, devilfish, octopus, sea squid, loligo. Hmm? So, a coat of male cells called chiton, hmm? loricates, sea cradles, or coat of it has uh, so many names hmm? loricates, sea cradles, coat of male cells called chiton. Chiton is another genus. Ospredium is now I have mentioned that is a chemoreceptor, organ of bojan is a respiratory organ, cell is released by calcium carbonate. So, and it has six classes what are monoplacophora, amphineura, gastropoda scaphopoda, 
bivalvia and cephalopoda so these are the important information about this phylum so we have discussed today and we'll take note properly so that we can answer all the question from mulaska no question should be left thank you